welcome to this week's update. I hope that you are well and rested and have enjoyed the half term. Um, I've had, the, it's been, been a bit of a weird half term for me. My children have been in school, they go to school in Bradford. I've had the half term off. I don't mind telling you, I've cleaned the carpets with a carpet cleaner. I got very excited with that and I feel like it's been a job well done. So that's been the highlight of my half term. So I am looking forward to getting back to school. And it's just a reminder saying that school starts on Tuesday uh, for all year groups, nice and early, get there please. Um, we've had some issues around lates to school and I just want to remind everyone that our start time is 8.20 in the classroom. So we need children at school at 8.10 really, especially in the secondary phase when there isn't drop off. So if children can get to school for 8.10, we can get them learning at 8.20 and it's a really big half term this. Really important one for really setting up that sense of achievement, both in year six and in year 11. And we've got lots and lots of work going on um, around making sure those SATs come May time are gonna be absolutely bob on. We made a massive amount of improvement last year. Um, some of the highest improvement in the country um, at, key, at year six, sorry, and we're expecting the same again. And again, our GCSE results, as we have told you, uh, came out, uh, it was the second highest in Calderdale, the outcomes were. Um, only one school, one of the grammar schools was above us. Um, so uh, we're really, really proud of that and we're aiming to carry on with that. But we really need to make sure all of those basic things are there. Punctuality, attendance, and then making sure we're completing all of the homework in class and we've got equipment. So that really is it for a general message from me. Um, on Monday training day, we've got a lot of staff going to lots and lots of different schools to find out about what's going on. We've got some staff going to some schools in Bradford, uh, primary schools to look at some maths over there. We've got some staff going to schools in Doncaster. We've got staff going everywhere just to find out, well, what else can we take from these schools and make our school even better? So I'm sure there's gonna be lots and lots of new ideas coming back. So that's it from me for Primary Families. If you hold on, Mr Adams is just going to say hello to you and um, I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Take care, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you've had a wonderful half term, despite all the rainy weather. We have got such a busy and exciting autumn two term. So and that's for me, parents, carers, please continue to check Parent Pay and School Comms so you can keep updated with what's happening in school. As mentioned in a previous update, our year six prefects have come up with ways to support the victims of the Middle East. On Wednesday, this first Wednesday back, phase one and phase two children will have bedtime stories and phase three children will be watching a film. A text got sent out um, of, in the last week of um, last half term. But again, we will continue to send correspondence to remind you about what we are doing. Some other events that are coming up, our year six children are going to be engaging with St Augustine's, a part of their year six baccalaureate. We've got cross country this coming Wednesday and this half term we are starting our preschool phonics intervention. So some selected children have been chosen and letters have been sent out, but please, please, please respond to those to let us know that your children, if they have been selected, are coming to those interventions. The big major event that's happening this half term is our winter fair. Some correspondence will be sent out in the coming weeks about our winter fair, but it's a chance to raise money for our enrichment and to help our uh, families with the cost of living crisis and put money back into school um, to help children pay for trips and different enrichment opportunities that we have got going on in school. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you all on Monday.